Hey, thanks for watching Weekly Word again. Pastor Ray here, we appreciate you so much being with us uh, each Monday. And I hope that you uh, maybe share this with somebody who may need a word of encouragement and strength uh, in their life as well. You know, what's interesting throughout the scripture is, is that God always seems to use people uh, to do his work in the lives of other people. Uh, he uses people and their gifts and talents and abilities and callings in their life to strengthen the lives of others. All through the scripture communicates that. That's why the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25, that we ought not give up meeting together. And then he tells us why we should meet together so that we can encourage one another and spur one another on. And it says this, even more as the day approaches. And the word day is capitalized because it's talking about the day of the Lord's return. You see, the truth is God made us to live in community. God knows that we need one another to help each other, to encourage one another. Because in our lives as Christians, we are his hands and his feet. I'll never forget the first time that really became true, experienced in my life, was back in March of 1986, March 16th to be exact. It was the day on a Sunday afternoon when all of a sudden my father had a massive heart attack and they rushed him to the hospital. And I went to the hospital coming from our home where Sandra and I were living at the time and I went to the hospital and I walked in and there was a lady in our church who worked there. Her name was Marguerite Jackson. And she came up to me and she said, Pastor Ray, I heard what happened. Let me go and let me see what I can find out. And she left. I waited there with my mom and some of my other brothers and sisters. And all of a sudden, I saw her. I saw her walking down this long hallway towards me. And I started walking towards her. And I could tell right away by her face that something bad had happened, that my dad had passed away. And as I got closer to her, she didn't need to say anything. She just opened up her arms, and like a grandma taking her grandson, she grabbed me in her arms and just held me and said, I'm so sorry. And I experienced that day the hands and the feet of the Lord Jesus in a lady by the name of Marguerite Jackson. Are you God's hands and feet? Do you encourage the people around you? Do you embrace the people when they're hurting? As Paul says, laugh with people when they're laughing and mourn with people when they're mourning. In other words, be the hands and the feet of God. Be the voice of God that encourages one another and spurs one another along. We need each other. Let's be that. Let's be who God wants us to be with each other. May God bless you. And we'll see you next week.